CJ Thinker, welcome. In this quick video, I will answer three questions you asked me. You can already ask your question in comments below this video for the next FAQ. Your question may concern Fluent, Blender or CG Art in general. Yes, maybe you follow me since few weeks or few months uh, about Fluent and Art Surface Modeling, but if you check my YouTube channel, you can see I made tutorials about Blender in general. Yes, because after, um, after a model, the next step is to make a scene and the final step is to make a beautiful images. So don't stop your question about technical aspect about Fluent. You can ask question in CG Arts in general. Well, let's get started. Why my slice is invisible in the viewport? To understand the problem, the best way is to make an example. So we are in Blender and I add a cube and I make a slice. And yes, in this case, as you can see, we see only one object. But the question is, I have only one object? Really? So press A to select everything. And you can see I have two objects, here and here, two objects. But the question is why I don't see them. I just see only one. Because when you make a slice, you make two objects with perfect alignments. So you can't detect any difference between them. So the solution is to change your viewport setting. Come back to Blender and la, here in this panel, activate outline. Okay. And as you can see, outline will draw a line around each object and you can follow your slice operation without problem. You can slice, slice and slice again without any problem. Easy follow operation. Why my slice is invisible in the render? Yes, after the problem with the viewport, you can have the problem with the render. So if I swap to render view, Yes, one more time, I have only one object, but they are here, we know. The problem is exactly the same. We have objects with perfect alignments and perfect edges, but in the real world, we haven't got perfect edges and it's why we can detect two objects side by side. So, back to Blender and select every object and press F and click on Add Latest Beaver. And as you can see, now my edges are rounded. And in Rounder View, no problem. Each object can be easily detected. I use this video to share with you a little tips with Fluent about Latest Beaver. If you want to change a uh, lattice bevel size, you can change the width of it here, like that. And you can select other object after. And if you click on add lattice bevel again, you will use the last bevel size for them. Select them here. You can change one, you can select everyone and quickly click again here and bim, you have a beaver, a same beaver for each object. The last question, how I can update an add-on properly? Sometimes Blender make some rare weird, some strange things when you make uh, an update. The good way to update your add-on is that. 1. Deactivate your add-on 2. Remove your add-on 3. Restart Blender 4. Install again your add-on And if you use this way, I think you will have never, never other problem with your upgrading. 
That's all for me. Don't forget to ask your question in comment below for the next FAQ. See you soon. Bye bye.